Um, so yeah, today I'm going to talk through a couple of SEO trends. Uh, I hit up our search and referral efforts here at Tadpole. Um, and the first couple of trends I want to talk through are some of the changing search behavior due to COVID, um, as well as a couple of evolving traffic sources, uh, primarily talking through Google's organic product listings. Um, so to start things off, there's been a massive shift in how people are searching online. Um, not only are more people spending more time at home on their phones and computers, um, but they're also buying a lot more products online that they would have previously gone to a store to purchase. Uh, so kind of coming back to those stats that Jake was sharing earlier, 75% um, of people bought, trying new brands, um, you know, 60% considering integrating those into like their future, you know, post-COVID life. Um, there's just a lot of market share up for grabs. Um, we're seeing people doing more research on that, on different products that they would have maybe given less consideration before. Um, we also just have this now, you know, massive data set with all these people searching for more terms that they wouldn't have searched for before. Um, we're getting a really interesting um, picture of that consumer journey. Um, some of these keywords um, and topics have, you know, kind of spiked and come back down. Um, others, as you can see in this image here, um, kind of come in waves and, and come back to levels that were higher than they previously were before. Uh, so for example, Lysol and masks, um, obviously there's a huge spike in how people are searching for those um, as COVID hits um, and it kind of comes in waves similar to how COVID has worked. Um, so, but there's also trends where, you know, it spikes and comes back down to normal levels. Um, so I'm sure there was a time in March where everyone was searching for toilet paper. Um, this was probably something, you know, you pre previously didn't give a lot of consideration to. Um, you know, the great toilet paper scare of 2020 was, was very real. Um, I know I, I certainly dealt with that, trying to find toilet paper online. Um, you couldn't find it on Amazon. Um, but as supply met back up with that demand, you know, we see that drop back down to normal levels, um, coming back to, you know, it's pretty much five-year average um, with very little people searching for toilet paper. Um, but the keywords we want to focus in on today are, are the keywords that have risen and sustained that increase. Um, so fire pits is one of those examples where, you know, there's a pretty standard trend over the last five years, um, but COVID has kind of broken that trend or, or changed it um, where it is now at higher levels than it was before. Um, but again, this is just one, one example, one keyword out of the millions that people search every day. Um, bicycles is another example uh, where people are searching for that um, at much higher levels than they were before. Um, this one might end up coming back down, but we'd recommend doing this for, for your industry. Like what are those keywords and topics that people are searching more for um, due to COVID? Um, and so that can be a great way to integrate different content on your website, um, or if you can get more inventory on those different like types of products, um, ordering more of those so it's available. Again, being that 27% of those people um, are gonna make those purchase decisions based on inventory. Another great tool for just understanding what some of those topics are um, is exploding topics. This is a fun one that kind of just throws out some ideas um, of keywords that are trending. Um, and we see Sezzl here. Um, you'll hear from them a little bit later. Um, we didn't plan this, honestly. Um, it was pretty cool to see that they're, they're taking off. Um, so you'll hear from Sezzl a little bit later. All right, the next thing I wanted to talk through was um, organic product listings. Um, so whenever you type in, you know, a product related query on in Google, uh, you can go to that shopping tab. Um, and this all used to be paid results. Um, you know, a couple months ago, they opened this up to more organic results, um, which is pretty incredible. Um, it's kind of Google's way of competing with Amazon, um, you know, with so many of those searches starting on Amazon, Google's trying to combat that and get more people using their platform. Um, so now if you have the appropriate markup on your product pages um, compared or paired with a merchant center account, uh, you're eligible to show up um, in this shopping tab um, below those top paid results. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we've seen some clients get some pretty meaningful traffic for this, um, you know, a couple thousand users a month, um, and that equates to real cost savings um, from just a paid ad standpoint. Uh, not to mention when people come into this tab, it's very e-commerce focused. So conversion rates are typically pretty high. Um, so what you should do about that, um, use Google Trends and Exploding Topics to in your industry to identify what some of those topics or keywords are um, that might be able to help your business show up for those search queries. Um, again, being that market share is up for grabs, um, if you can be a first mover in those trending topics, uh, chances are you can take some of that market share. Um, and then also adding structured data markup to your pages. Um, again, most e-commerce sites are going to already have this, but you might not have a merchant center account set up. Um, so setting one of those up to take advantage of that organic traffic coming from the shopping tab. 